Hey there. My name's Ronnie, and I have a question for you. Do you like traveling? I do. And let's play a fun little game. I'm going to spin the globe. This thing's called a globe. And wherever my finger lands, I shall go there next. I can close my eyes, too, to make it also more dramatic. Oh, it looks like I'm going to South America. Wow. Looks like I'm going to Brazil again. Thank you, spin the globe. I'm going to Berlin, Brazil. So, all of you people watching in Berlin, Brazil, I'll be seeing you soon. You kind of live on the equator. But let's get down to this lesson. <sighs> the basic English of do... We talk about everyday actions, and we also talk about opinions. So my first question to you was, do you like traveling? Or I can say, do you like to travel? Now, the thing that oh, you have to remember about this verb is, even though we're talking about everyday actions or opinions, we have to be careful with your subject. So, if it is I, you, we, meaning we is going to include myself and more people, or they, now they means other people over there. Th those, yeah, they, 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 okay? We have to use, for the question form, do. So I have to say, for example, do you, like traveling, okay? Um, do I want a beer? <laughs> yes. Now, you're thinking, Ronnie, why are you talking to yourself? Oh, sorry. Oops. Um, because everyone talks to themselves, and it's natural, it's normal, and you have to have an inner dialogue. One really cool thing about learning English or learning another language is if your internal dialogue, that means the one voice in your head, just the one, if it speaks to you in another language or the language you're trying to learn, that's a really good thing. If you can think in English, that means that you're on your way to becoming bilingual or fluent in the language. Congratulations, that's amazing. So. Of course, you're going to have your native language in your head, but if you can get yourself to even think in English, like, oh, do I want to go to the store now? Do I want to ride my bike? If you can think to yourself in English, that's going to be really cool, and it'll help you. Um, we and they, okay? Well, I've said that already. Look at me repeating myself. <laughs> do we, do I, do you, and do they? And then we're going to put a verb, okay? These are... Um, everyday actions, and it's in the present tense because they're things that we do and all that stuff. It's not the past yet. But we have to be careful if we have he, she, and it. Now, I like to say he shit. So we have to say does. So you can remember this, does he shit. <laughs> yes, he does. He's a human. So does he plus the base verb. Does she plus a base, base verb? Does it plus the base verb? And it. Hmm. You could talk about something like an inanimate object, like, oh, this globe, does it spin? Spin means turn around. Yes, it does spin. Or if you talk about an animal, you say, oh, oh no, does it bite? Yes, it does. Watch out. So, be careful in the question form. You have to say do plus the subject I, you, we, and they plus the verb. If the subject is he, she, or it, you need to say does. So let's look at some example questions. As I said before, do I want a beer? Beer, 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 beer. Okay. Do you like traveling? Do we have fun? 
you better say yes. If you don't, I'll come over there and kick your ass. Um, do th- th- they smell good? Good? Do they? Do they smell good? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Now, when we use he, she, and it, we have to replace do with does. So we have to say, does he want a beer? Oh, that guy over there, does he want a beer? Hey, buddy, you want a beer? That's how we say it really fast in English. Do you want a beer? But, duh, that's terrible grammar. <laughs> does she like traveling? So if it was you, I, or we, we'd say do you, but because it's a singular human, we'd say does she like traveling. And if there's only one dog, we would say does it smell good? Or if there's one thing, if it's singular. So they can mean one or more people or one or more things. It is going to be a singular thing or person that we don't know if it's a man or a female. That's cool. (laughs) But does it smell good? That's the important thing we want to know. Um, So asking these questions are very important in starting even small conversations with people that you meet. Because you're practicing and learning English, you really don't know what to say to people when you meet them, right? You're just like, hi, hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Ronnie, okay, yeah, good. Um, God, what can I say? Oh, oh, no, I got one. Do you like... So, if you ask people about their opinions, it's going to start a conversation. Or if you ask people about everyday actions or activities, it's going to help you. Oh, hey, um... Uh, uh, oh, oh, I like, I, li- I like, um, 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 swimming. Do you like swimming? Yes, you do. Oh, cool. And then you can find something in common with people. Or maybe the person doesn't like what you like. And that's fine too. But with the positive comes the negative. And I must teach you the negative form because sometimes, <sighs> I just do not want a beer. So, very formal grammar. We would have to write, do not. I do not want a beer. But we don't say that. We usually always use the contraction. Contraction means uh, it goes from two words to one with an apostrophe. This guy's an apostrophe. We would say, I don't want a beer. And in really fast English, we'd say, I don't want a beer. Wanna wanna? Do you want a beer? I don't want a beer. But don't worry about that right now because that's <laughs> a little bit up there. I don't want a beer. Hey, do you like traveling? And if you answered, no, Ronnie, no, I would say, wow. You don't like traveling? This is the answer to a question, but I'm surprised. (sighs) Do we have fun? Do you know what? No, we don't have fun. And do they smell good? Mm, Guess what? Yep, yep. They don't smell good. So maybe they should take a shower. Yeah, shower. That'd be a good thing, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So... The negative of do is don't. When we use, when we use I, you, we, and they, the negative is always going to be don't. And very formally, do not. But we usually never (laughs) say that, especially when we're talking normally to our friends or casually or even at a job interview in a formal situation. We wouldn't say do not, usually, (laughs) unless you're super formal, and that's weird. (laughs) But do what you want to do. That's fine. Now, remember when I told you that he, she, and it, he, shit, we have to be careful with? Well, (sighs) the negative is no exception, okay? Um, If I uh, say, does he want a beer? And the answer is no. We would say, he doesn't want a beer. 
Maybe he's had too many beers. And he says, he doesn't want a beer. And doesn't is just the short or the natural form of does not. Very formally, he does not want a beer, Ronnie. Stop offering him. I'll drink it. That's fine. That's okay. Um, she doesn't. Question. Does she like traveling? Mm -mm, no. She doesn't like traveling. So again, you have to be very careful. He, she, and it. So many times I hear people say, oh, she don't like traveling. <sighs> it hurts my brain. Even native English speakers say, oh, she don't like traveling. Ronnie gets a little bit oh, itchy when people use bad grammar like that. Oh, but that's fine. Just, just don't make me itchy. Okay. Just use it properly. And sometimes you're going to make a mistake. You're going to say, she don't. And, and Ronnie will go, no, don't say that. She doesn't. Okay. And it, like I said, it is a singular thing. It could be a dog, a cat, but there's only one of them. And we can say, it doesn't smell good. Does it smell good? It doesn't smell good. So the negative form of does, when we use he, she, or it, is going to be doesn't. Remember, very formally, does not, but we don't say that. So here's your challenge. I want you to talk to people in English. You can talk to me. Yeah. I have online private English classes at englishwithronnie.com. You can talk to me. You can practice with me and ask me these questions. Or you can ask the people around you. And you can practice using does, doesn't, do, and don't. Till next time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.